Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. Today is another room transformation, but this room is of my youngest son, Liam. We uh, decided to pull up, or I decided to pull up the rug that's in this room. We've been doing this slowly throughout the house, removing the rug down the hallway, removing the rug off the staircase, removing the rug um, in the two older boys' room. The last space to get done is the master bedroom, but that is a huge process, which we will actually hire someone for, but that's not in the budget right now. Um, but what's in the budget is easy DIY things, things that I can do on my own and to kind of save us on some money or some coins um, and uh, not be so over, over expensive. So uh, this room in particular was a den also known as a, it was also a, a, a school room, um, an office, my old office, because um, my two younger ones shared a room. Well, now they've gotten to the age where they need their own space. So um, he has been in this room, meaning Liam has been in this space for a few months now and he's really enjoyed it. I didn't want it to make it permanent, which it's still not permanent, um, which uh, when I say that is we're not putting up a door, we're not closing off the window, um, we're just keeping it as is and just utilizing curtains to kind of give that division between the dining room and his room um, and also giving him some privacy through the window because I did take down the old blinds that were in here because they were broken, which we're still uh, working on getting new blinds throughout the house. That that, you guys know that's also uh, expensive I did the two I replaced the two in the living room already um, but uh, as I said today we're just gonna redo this room give it a refresh remove some more things out of here um, make it more of him take some uh, take up this carpet as you guys can see this tile I was surprised to see this I thought there was gonna be concrete underneath this um, but this room was actually before it was closed in used to be a patio so this is I guess the old patio flooring um, so I was very intrigued by it. I was like oh but no it doesn't go with our <laughs> the flow with the house and so we're still going to cover this and I'm using stick was it called sticky tile you guys will see it here it looks like wood um, it is inexpensive. I think the box is about fifty to sixty dollars a case, and it it took maybe about one and a half to do this flooring. And we had some already in the um, in the garage from the other projects that we did. So we used that up, and then I had to go purchase one more. Um, but I again, this room turned out so well. We did move. Um, some furniture around um, throughout the house, bringing up a, a sofa from the living room into my bedroom, which made me do a bedroom transformation there. Um, I will also link that at the end uh, for you guys if you guys want to see that. Um, so a futon from up there and a chaise down to the living room and the futon is now going to be in Liam's room to kind of give him a sitting area um, when he has friends over or when his brothers go in his room to play video games or whatever the case is. So I wanted to have more space in there or give him more ability to kind of lounge and make it more um, appealing to him and fun for him and cozy. So let's get into today's video. Welcome if you are new welcome back and returning if you new, please introduce yourself down below let me know you're watching from I am just gonna really let this video play I will pop in here and there kind of give you guys an update of what's been going on as the process this was a two-day process uh, I was very tired I've got some messed up nails and I can't wait to go <laughs> and get them uh, fixed this weekend so um, but yeah, I'm excited of how this room turned out. Let me know if you've got any comments down below. Let's talk down below. Again, introduce yourself. Let me know where you're watching from. And if you're returning, thank you guys so very much for coming back. I uh, enjoy seeing you guys in the comments. Um, but I'm excited for this room. So let's get back into it. Get this carpet pulled up. Get this the tacky strip up. And get this room looking better. to tell the truth no one else can see you like I do all you ever do is say how far you wanna go baby I 
So while I was pulling up the carpet, which I'm excited to show here that I'm just about done um, removing the tack strip, I noticed some of the glue was still sticking to the tile. Obviously it would be, I don't even know how old this carpet is that was in this room. I know that it's been here since we've had the house, since we purchased the house about six years ago. So um, removing the tack strip, now I need to go and kind of chisel the glue that was sticking the tack strip down. Um, and you'll see that I'll go between both a flathead screwdriver and, or flathead, is that what they're called? Flathead screwdriver or screwdriver? I don't even know. Um, and also kind of a, um, a scraper as well. Uh, normally that's used for popcorn, I guess for the seal. I don't even know why it's used what it's used for but I used it for my flooring in here so I'll be doing that here uh, shortly so um, I to be honest I do love the color of this floor but if it was more of my vibe and the vibe that I was going for I probably would have kept it um, but also there was a lot of um, imperfections on it and stains on it so I wanted to uh, sweep it up vacuum it up and also do a good scrub and even with mopping the floor some of the discoloration on the tile was still there so um, we're gonna go ahead and cover it and then move on.
Now that it's time to get this tile laid, I'm going to off center it or offset it um, while I lay it down. Because one of the tips that I had learned by laying this down um, in the hallway and in the boys' room is that you don't want it to be all at the same length. You want it staggered uh, for it to look more of a uh, more of a professional styled flooring. Um, I chose this because I have boys that are very, um, let's see, what's the right word? Don't care <laughs> about, um, you know, they're just tough. We're rough and, you know, um, I, as much as I want to upgrade my flooring and do certain things, I have to do them while my, my young ones or my, while my kids are young, um, uh, as inexpensively as possible um, because as much as I want nice flooring down um, you know sometimes they just don't care to take care of things and I still have a young one my 13 year old is still home and man he actually broke something the day that I was filming this and um, I'm just like good gravy kid so um, if you guys have kids or boys in particular you guys know that something is bound to break <clears throat> at some point of the week if not the following week at some whatever but i do want my house to look nice and inviting and um you know up to date um but of course i have to do things inexpensively while they're home so that when they do move out and go on their own i then can invest on some nice flooring um and that is so sad i'm like repeating it and saying that I just it sounds horrible um, but you know sometimes you just can't have nice things with children <laughs> so uh, but let's get back into uh, laying this flooring down as I continue to scrape up the glue um, and move throughout his room You'll be able to win this one But she's somebody else in the making First, she just gotta stop all the faking And she'll be there But she's wondering if it's gonna feel like she's forever Wondering if it's gonna feel like this whenever she leaves her safe space She leaves her safe space Wondering if it is forever Or is there some place that will make her feel better Make her feel better Then that's where she'll go She's wondering if it's gonna feel like she's forever Wondering if it's gonna feel like she's whenever she leaves her safe space She leaves her safe space Wondering if it is forever Or is there some place that will make her feel better Make her feel better Then that's where she'll go
someone's gonna respond I'm getting tired of myself Cause I don't know what I want But I'm not out here on my own So at this point, I'm just a little under halfway point of getting this floor uh, done. Um, but I will tell you, I was getting pretty tired. Um, this is a workout uh, for bending over, getting up, and then still you know, doing the mom life and, uh, making dinner and still considering myself. Cause I did stop and get my, and, and take a nice two and a half mile walk. Um, and it felt amazing, but I didn't realize how dirty my britches were until I saw this video, man, they were dirty. <laughs> they were pretty nasty. Um, but we're going to go ahead and continue with laying down the flooring and, um, just you know it's coming together so nicely looking at the floor just change um i was like oh this looks so good it reminded me of when i was doing the other boys room and also the hallway of just how simple how nice and how how quickly something can change by either you know fresh coat of paint or even just wiping something down or laying down sticky tile um you guys can see there's obviously zero cushion so this is not a comfortable piece of material to walk on but it's a great um it's a great uh kind of in the middle you know of having nicer floors getting your floors done from old flooring um so it's that great transition piece from old flooring to eventually spending what we got an estimate for eight to like ten thousand dollars to get all of our floors done so now we're into day two as you guys can see i'm starting here and i did get further along um on day one i just didn't film it because i thought you guys wouldn't want to see me lay down any more tile but we're close to being done and it just it the laying the floor in here was so much easier than doing in any other room um it was just it worked very very well so we're almost done and then we can go into cleaning this room because the window needed to get cleaned and then i was looking and noticed that the ceiling fan also needed to get cleaned there's there's going to be a little bit of cleaning here um but then we're going to be able to put this room back together but she's wondering if it's gonna feel like she's forever Wondering if it's gonna feel like she's whenever she leaves her safe space She leaves her safe space Wondering if it is forever Or is there some place that will make her feel So while I was finishing up the floor, I was getting a little hot <laughs> and needed to open up the window. And while I was opening up the window, I noticed that it needed to get clean. So that is what I'm doing. I'm going to show you the nasty grime that's in this, um, what is this called? The, 
I don't know what this is called, but here you'll see an after, a before and after of this. And I will tell you, this was satisfying just to see how clean it gotten and all of the dust and uh, grime that was down there. So uh, it's time to clean this window and then get to cleaning the rest of this room and then putting it all together. Hiding in the shadows way too long. Cause you're a work of art quickly I wanted to show you guys kind of the process of this room and what's left of this flooring so if you guys can see there's just little little squares I guess um, from where the flooring didn't um, go all the way so I'm here measuring it all out but then you guys also saw the mess of the other side of the room that needs to get cleaned and put away so I'll be working on uh, finishing up this floor by doing these little pieces um, uh, by just cutting up the vinyl and making it fit perfectly um, and again this is I am obviously you guys can see I'm no floor specialist <laughs> um, but I'm I'm doing this because one the carpet in, in this uh, room or in the house was just it's so old and high traffic areas and you guys know that with previous owners we don't we just don't know how well the carpet is taken care of and um, how often it was cleaned and I normally in my home clean my carpets yearly with a professional cleaner um, but then I'll do spot cleans throughout the year and um, with animals that just that's not enough that's never enough and with little ones that's never enough and so over time the carpet just got worse and it needed to be removed so that is why I decided to go this route throughout the house and again this is a temporary solution until the kids are old enough and are gone so that we can then afford hopefully put in um, uh, better flooring and even even then if the floor still looks good we may not um, because uh, you know this was done on a budget and I don't want to always fix or change something but the flooring throughout the the house and the boys room it's just it's holding up very well um, and it still looks really good so we're going to get to cleaning this room uh, staging it well hopefully uh, and you guys know day two this room did not stay clean just so you know the minute he slept in this room it became a hot mess but we're going to clean the fan and i'm going to show you all the stuff that came off of this the ceiling fan i just thought you know if i'm going to go in here and i'm going to do a deep clean and if i'm going to do the floors i'm going to do a deep clean and i wanted to make sure that i was able to get the ceiling fan the windows uh the walls in certain areas um even that little ledge up there you'll see that i'll take all those books down and get that all clean and what i'm using is very simple it's just vinegar and water um, I've kind of been gradu uh, gradually going to that having that be my go-to outside of my uh, mr. clean and water you guys know if you've been around for a while you guys know that I love my mr. clean because of it being you know anti-back uh, antibacterial and it cleans all that good stuff um, 
but I like to kind of have an offset, an alternative. And um, my alternative is vinegar and water. So we're gonna clean up all the dust that came off the ceiling fan um, and move some of the furniture back and finish up this room, hopefully, huh, very soon here. Uh, we're 30 minutes in and we still have about 15 more minutes left, you guys. So if you are still here with me, more power to you thank you guys so very much i know mo most of you like longer videos i too like longer videos but again i like to kind of cater to everyone in regards to longer videos shorter videos laundry motivation all of that stuff um and you'll actually get some of that laundry motivation in here but it'll be super sped up um, where I end up kind of tweaking and working around where his clothes are going to be. Again, this is not an actual bedroom. This is a den that we're trying to convert and make, um, make into a room for my 13 year old so he can have his own space. And I just used a bookshelf and baskets, um, to kind of, uh, create the, closet kind of deal if that makes any sense so let's get back into it and get this room finished up like strangers
that I'll be sweeping a lot and vacuuming a lot still. There was so much dust in this room. I don't know how, well, I do know how. One, we just ripped up the carpet. And two, uh, I was dusting the wall or dusting the ledge and then dusting the ceiling fan and also around the window. So um, again, there was just so much dust and, and it just did. It was just accumulating everywhere so i needed to pick that up so you'll see that i'll be sweeping a lot and also vacuuming a lot but we're we're fast approaching the end of this video and before i jump off i just want to thank you guys so very much for joining me today i do appreciate your love and your support for those that continue to come back and for those who are new um uh, uh leave comments down below or subscribe thank you guys so very much you could have easily have chosen a, a different video someone else to enjoy um or to watch or get motivation but i truly hope that today's bedroom transformation uh, provides that for you again this was a den it's not a permanent um fixture for our 13 year old um um, so you'll see a lot of different things so uh, in regards to like the walls and and trophies and stuff so I've kind of designated each section of this room per person so my husband has his own wall my my oldest son has his own wall I am starting the wall for my middle son and then I'll also be building a wall for um, my youngest son as well um, in regards to their trophies and uh, um, accolades and stuff like that and so I wanted this room to kind of reflect that something for them to go back to and enjoy um, and sit and enjoy so that is what essentially this room turned out to be before it became a bedroom for my 13 year old so we are not removing any of those items we're leaving them all up on the wall um, but you know i just i'm very happy of how it looks um yes it, it does kind of seem a little crowded but again um this room in particular is very very tiny um and we're just trying to make best of this space and uh make it as cozy and comfortable for him for him to enjoy as if it was his if it was a true permanent room um once our oldest is moved out and gone you know and doing his thing or my 16 year old moves out and goes off to college um 
that is when he'll get he'll get transferred into one of those rooms and we'll be able to redo one of those rooms um, do exactly what he wants and um, he's excited for that but in the meantime I wanted to make this one as comfortable and as cozy as possible for him so again thank you guys so very much for joining me you'll see here shortly of the after and how it all came out I hope you guys enjoyed today's video there's much more to come on this channel I am picking up more projects with other friends and family to help uh, help them kind of declutter, organize the closet, organize the space, um, and um, I'm excited for that. I'm excited to bring uh, bring you guys along with me. And there's going to be some deep cleaning coming. I will be tackling the two older boys' room here soon. Tons of tons of stuff coming out of those rooms, but. Thank you guys so very much for joining me and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Much love and God bless.